For too long, money laundering has been kept on the sidelines for police, for law enforcement, for regulators, and for governments. Money laundering activity has been and remains to be poorly understood, even by some of the public bodies that need to address it. And money laundering has rarely been given priority. Uh, too often, it has been largely ignored. It's time for that to change. My report puts forward 101 recommendations directed primarily to the provincial government and provincial agencies. The recommendations, if implemented, will begin to address, in a serious way, a problem that has grown through decades of inaction and ineffectiveness. I recommended the creation of an entirely new office to deal with money laundering. This will be an office of the legislature with a status that will permit independence from the uh, government of the day. I refer to the head of this office as the anti-money laundering commissioner. I also recommend the creation of a new dedicated provincial intelligence and investigation unit, a new policing unit that will lead the law enforcement response to proceeds of crime and money laundering in this province. And I hope and expect that the new federal minister with responsibility for this file, Minister Mendicino, will join with us in addressing this important shared challenge. I hope he will have the prime ministers and the federal cabinet support in this important cooperative work. With that said, I agree with the commissioner's implicit unstated conclusion that the province can no longer rely on or wait for federal responses to address this problem. And we must take on a stronger role related to enforcement around previously exclusively federal responsibilities.